Hello, everybody. My name's Dan Rumor. I'm a licensed insurance broker in the state of Texas. I grew up in the state of Ohio. I've been down here in Texas for the last six years. I've been in the insurance industry and the business for 40 years. Uh, I sold life and health for 10 years. And then for the last 30 years, I've sold nothing exclusively except for uh, annuities and the investment side of large insurance corporations. Recently, I became the head of the uh, insurance annuity side of a company out of Missouri, and now they are they're they're in forty nine states, and I am in charge of the agents for that company, uh, helping them learn how to do what I do. Uh, like I said, I've been doing this since nineteen eighty three. I was in my real early twenties when I started doing this. Now. What I have seen, and I come to you today, I come to you very casual. I don't have a suit or a tie on. I usually do. But I, I want to talk to you today from the heart and from my experience of what I've seen happening to Americans in the investment world today, like it was and how it has been over the last 30 or 40 years. When I first came in to the business, you know, uh, we had we had was everyone was still talking about you know the stock market and what had happened to it back in the 1929 1930 31 the big crash and when the stock market fell and everybody lost everything they had but you know after that from about 1939 and 1940 i i read this i'm not making this up i i read it online and uh, it's it's on google if you want to google it from 1940 to 1999, if you had had money in the Dow Jones of the market, you would have averaged for that period of time around 9%. Now, that's wonderful. I mean, that is, that is a wonderful amount to make. And no one could complain about that. And no one did. Everybody loved the stock market, the different types of stock market. Uh, there was all kinds of stocks. We know that, you know. And... And it was wonderful. Now, but you all know what happened in year 2000, 2001. Terrible crash. It was a crash real similar to 29 and 30. And then you all know what happened in 2008. Another one, just like that. And even in between all that, from 1999 to, you know, to 2000 and 2008, and even to now, there's been tremendous up, you know, highs and tremendous lows. And that's hard to build a retirement on something that, you know, you get built up real good and then you lose almost all of it. And, uh, and I have seen that and, and working with that over the last 30 years that I've been working in the investment side of, of the business, I've noticed that my clients are hurting a lot and, uh, and in their, in their 401ks and their IRAs. So I started looking around 19, 83 to 1990 uh, at the investment side of annuities. And I found out uh, that annuities were a thing that companies had, but they didn't offer very much. They, they usually offered about like what a CD would offer. And, and, the C, and they would offer like 4% and it, it would stay there for 10 years. You, uh, you know, you didn't lose, you didn't gain, you just got 4% for 10 years. And I thought, well, that's pretty good because the main reason that the 4% in the annuity was good versus what? CD. Uh, the CD back in those days was the only thing you had other than basically the stock market. There was just nothing else. Uh, there's so many different kinds of investments today, but those two were the big ones. And the CDs would be about the same, 3 or 4%. And you could lock them up anywhere from six months to five years. But the problem with the CD is you had to pay taxes on your gains, whether you used it or not, you had to pay taxes on the gains. Even if you left it in there, you had to pay taxes on that interest. At least with the annuity, you did not have to pay taxes on the, the gains. It, you could just leave it in there and after 10 years, roll it over into another 10 years and all of that money, including what you would have been taxed was deferred and therefore 
the annuity could grow a little bit bigger than a CD. So I thought I will sell some of these because this is good for my clients. Well, since then, folk, um, annuities have changed and changed and changed. And today, there are so many different kinds of annuities. And uh, they have what they call an index annuity day, which I think is the greatest investment that's ever come along. It is just for, for real, the best. They usually have a great big, large bonus up front. I mean, large. Some of them, you know, in the double digit large. Uh, I'll show you one here in a minute. And then it, it also has a side of the, the annuity that follows the index market with a cap. The good part about that is, though, I mean, like the index I'm talking about, the S&P 500, BlackRock, you know, the Franklin, all those different types of index markets. And it follows that, but it puts a cap on at about two, two and a half percent. Now, the good part about that is it, it'll grow. If it, if, it, if it makes two and a half percent, it'll grow at that, but it'll never lose. If, if, if this year you, you get two and a half percent, next year it zeroes out and it makes nothing, your two and a half percent stays there. So, you know, if you have it for 10 years, you know, how, however many years that index made money, you made money there. But you also got your big bonus up front, up front. We have one with a company called Global Atlantic, uh, the 150 plus SE annuity that gives you a 20% bonus up front. Man, that can really boost your uh, investments up, especially if you're just a couple of years from getting ready to retire. And then, then after they give you that 20%, it will... Uh, also give you a percentage so many years after that guaranteed. And it can never go backwards. It can never lose money. Now, when you get to where you finally want to be, uh, say you're 55 years old, because most of the people that are looking at retirement are about 55 or older, sometimes 50. Um, when you get to where you want to be in this investment, you can take what they call a lifetime income off of it. This is not annuitization. I don't like annuitization. I know the insurance companies might get mad at me for saying this, but I just don't like it. I've never annuitized any of my clients, and I have thousands of clients in multiple states because if you annuitize it, they do give you a lifetime income. That's for sure. It'll go for the rest of your life. But when you pass, the money stays with the company, what's left. Lifetime income is different. You can turn that on and you can turn it off. But if you leave it on, it'll go for the rest of your life. And what is left in your investment will go to your beneficiaries. That's why I put all my clients, it when they're ready to take an income, in a lifetime income. Now, so what do we have in, in the world today? Basically, now you can, you can hunt different things. You know, you can invest in real estate. You can invest in, you know, gold. You can invest in silver. You can invest in all those things. But when it comes to traditional investments, you have the banks. The banks offer passbook savings. They offer CDs, money market accounts, and, and all of it goes right straight through the bank. Now, the banks will actually even sell you stock today. But if you go with stock, the banks are the middleman to the stock. Now, you have the regular stock market, you know, the Dow Jones and, and the different indexes. You have that. And uh, then you have what I call the insurance industry investments. Now, all of them have their guarantees, FDIC, except the stock market don't have any guarantees. You know what you're getting into when you get into the stock. You either win or you lose there. But now the banks have the FDIC, which, which backs them up. I'm a little wondering about that because um, the, the bank is, the FDIC is, guaranteed by the government and i'm not too sure how what kind of a shape the government's in right now matter of fact we owe so much money we owe like 34 trillion dollars so I'm, I'm really nervous about the fdic myself i'm nervous about myself i'm not i'm not making judgments here but i'm worried about myself now the insurance industry also guarantees you with the limitations acts they they have a guarantee but it's guaranteed by the individual states. State of Texas guarantees you a certain amount that's in your contract. Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, 
all the different states offer you that savings and that and that guarantee and, and protection of on your contract. And they have a certain amount that they guarantee. Now, but if you put your money into an annuity, there's one more thing that they do, and it's just been done recently. But there's one more thing that certain ones do. All of them don't do this. So don't I'm not going to tell you all annuities do this, but there are some that do, and I have some that have that. And so does my agents. I have one, uh, a few agents that, I, that are really doing well in different states. I have one up in Chicago, Martin Puzo. He's doing well. And all of you to get to see this up in Chicago area, give him a call. And then there's some down here and there's some other places. But the thing that they have is a nursing protection. Now, years ago, I tried to sell nursing home insurance. I sold life health. I had group health plans. You know, I, I sold, you know, Medicare supplements and Advantage plans. I sold all the kind of different health insurances you could buy. I tried to sell nursing home because the statistics say that one out of two, 50% of all of us at a certain age will require some kind of nursing care. Now, the other 50% that don't require nursing care, there's a reason for that. They die. We die. We either die or we need help. We need some care. One way or another, we need some care. Now, if you could take your investment and where it's at now, say it's in the stock market or say it's in a 401k or say it's in the bank or in an IRA, an individual IRA by itself that you took, took out with somebody, and you could take that money from that investment and put it someplace that for free would double what you have if you needed nursing care. Would you be interested in that? I don't know why anybody wouldn't be. Now, with this one that we have, that's what it'll ha that's what'll happen. If you can't perform two of the functions of the six everyday functions that you do, like cleaning yourself, taking bathing yourself, feeding yourself, you know, the six different things that you can do, that you should be able to do. This nursing care will kick in. But let me show you an example of, of a woman, Betty, that I, I literally have. She's 69 years old. And, and I took this amount because it's about the middle way. We can invest any amount of money that you have from $10,000 up to a million dollars without special uh, we could go over a million, but we'd have to have special permission. They have to take a hard look at you to see why you have more than a million dollars to invest. Maybe you sold some property that was left to you, or you sold your company, or you was just very, very good at saving money. But, you know, there's a lot of people get money in uh, bad bad ways. So we got to make sure everybody's legitimate. So anywhere from 10000 to a million, we can invest. Now, so I took a half a million, a, a, a client of mine that has a half a million dollars named Betty uh, in, in the state of Ohio. Now, if we take a look at her, we'll see that she's 69 years old. I'll, I'll say in this way. Her investment was $500,000. With Global Atlantic out of New Jersey, we give her a 20% bonus up front. The $500,000 immediately makes $100,000. Now, that's a fact. That's for real. The day that it hits the company, that five hundred thousand would now be worth six hundred thousand. Okay, now you just can't take that hundred thousand and walk away with it. That hundred thousand has to stay in the policy. You could take your five hundred thousand away, but you cannot get that hundred thousand out. That hundred thousand we're putting in there for you to live on, to to you to use as a as a retirement income. Now watch this. So it turns into six hundred thousand. Now, your lifetime income at her age, they, uh, the older you are, the higher your interest rate is because the older you are, the less time you have to draw it out. When you're younger, it's a lower interest rate because you're going to draw it for a lot longer time. But at her age, at 69, it is 6.25, 6.25%. That is a wonderful interest rate to set up for an income for the rest of your life. Unbelievable. So that comes to 37500 a year 
off of this $600,000. Now that's wonderful. By itself, that's that's tremendous. Now remember, you would get that $37,500 from the time, she would get that from the time she's 69 until she's past 100 or however long she lives. And, you, and people are living to be 100 today. They are. I mean, my dad's 94 right now. He's 94. He has no senility. He works in the barn every day, builds guns, uh, uh, builds old, old Model A and Model T Fords. I mean, he's he's in good shape, 94. And so people live to be a long time, at long, at long, long ages today. Now, if you didn't want to take an income off of it and take that 37.5 immediately, and you say, well, I'm only 55, and I put this 500,000 in there, and I'm probably not going to retire, so I'm 65. So what, what's it going to do? Well, remember I told you it, it has a side over on this other side that follows the index amount, the, the index. And, it, and that, that uh, 600,000 would start getting an index amount capped off at right around 2, two to 2.5%. 2 now, that's that site. But every year for the next four years, they would give you 7.5% on this 600,000 for the next four years, you would get that. So in four years, that would be another 30% on that. And uh, so if you take the 20% and the four years at 30%, you would, that would end up being 50% that they're gonna guarantee you, you would make on this, on this 500,000 in five years, the 20% up front. 7.5% for the next four years. So at the end of five years, you've made 50%. So now that's that 500,000 in five years, you're 55, now you're 60. You, if you decide you want to retire 60, you would have $750,000 guaranteed. Now this is guaranteed. So you go, you know, now I'm going to start drawing that out. Now, way down the road, say you're 55, and you, you still didn't want to take your money out till you were 65. This is hard to believe. But when you're 65, that's 750000 they're going to give you a bonus of 150% of all of the interest that you gained from the time you entered it until that 10th year. And on that 10th year, they will give you another bonus of 150% of your interest that you gained, all the interest that you gained, not on the principal, but on the interest. So here's the thing I'm telling you is different with this investment than any other investment that you have. This is what's different. If you was in the bank and you had 500,000 in the bank and CDs or passbook savings and you got ill, would they do anything for you or would they just let you take some of your money out? With this product, if you become ill and you need nursing care, like I said earlier in the in the message, if you can't perform two of the daily living, the six daily living activities, they will double your income. Now, your income right at age 55 was 37,500. 37, so that would turn into 75,000 a year. Now, keep in mind, if you kept this for five years, then the, the, the income would be way more than this. But this is the day that you come in. The day that you enter it and you give us $500,000, we'll say something happens to you right away. You're going to make $37,500 on your income for the rest of your life. Say something happens to you, you can't do some things. And you need nursing care. It would turn into $75,000 a year. And they will give that to you for five years, five years. And you say, well, if I'm in a nursing home, what if I need more than five years? Well, some people do. We all know people that's been in a nursing home for 10 or 15 years. God help us and I hope that never happens to us. But if you if you look it up and, and look at the statistics of how long people normally need nursing care, the, the average for the whole United States is two and a half years, two and a half years. So we're doubling that. We're going to give it to you for five years to assure that maybe, you know, we'll pay for you either till you get well or till you pass. 
So we give that to you for five years. So now, if you take that double double of the thirty five thousand that comes to seventy five thousand a year for five years, that turns into seventy five thousand times five years is three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. Now, remember, you put five hundred thousand in; it turned into six hundred thousand. You know, the day you gave it to us, and also, if you need nursing care. You're going to have 375 extra thousand dollars to pay for nursing care before you ever get into this amount that you originally put in. Now, I want to ask you a question. If you're in the stock market right now, and we all know the stock market has been pretty shaky the last two or three years, uh, and, and if you're over 55, at least, uh, all financial advisors say, if you're 55, you should have at least 55% of everything you have in something safe like this. This is safe. It's guaranteed. If you're 60, you should have 60% of your life savings in something safe. 70, 70% and they're on. Now, if you have that in the stock market right now and you're 55, if something happens to you and you need nursing care, will the stock money double your income for you? so that it'll pay for your nursing care. You know, can you worry about, um, do you have to worry about it losing it? Sure you do. With this, you do not. And if anything happens to you, we're almost going to give you twice what you had invested to take care of you. And it's it's free and you don't have to qualify for it. Doctor just says you can't do two things. You, you're almost worth twice what you were. Now, will the bank if if you get sick, will the bank double your income for you? I mean, will these will these investments double your income? These insurance companies today have beautiful, wonderful programs for you. They're safe. They offer great interest. And guys like me can set you up for that. And uh, we'll watch over you and help you. Now, if uh, we're going to send this out to you, all the information will be on it. Uh, you can contact me. And if in my, you know, the my company's name is Fayette Financial, and you can find me at Fayette, Fayette Financial uh, at gmail.com, and then my phone number will be on there too. You can text me or or email me, and if you're in an area where, I, like I said, we have agents all over the United States, if you are closer to them, we might set you up with one of them, but they do exactly what I do because I'm training them to do it. And if it's not too far, I'll come and see you myself. Uh, but we will definitely find somebody to help you. And, we, and we're and we worried about everyone today with the way things are. There's no need to worry about it. Like I said, I come to you, talk to you from my heart and my experience. Let's get you put someplace where it's safe and where you can make tremendous money and even be cared for if you need care, care for, okay? Thank you so much. And uh, I hope the best for this new year of 2024.